If you're about to take your microeconomics final exam, I'm a tutor and this is why price floors cause dead weight loss. And before we get started here, if you wanna see where you stand for your actual exam, I want you to go take my free practice exam in my bio. It's a cumulative final and I've packed it with 25 of the most common types of prompts I see professors put on their exams. All right, now to start this off, let's understand what the surplus looks like in this market without any price control. The market's gonna operate right here at this quantity, we'll call this, uh, we'll call this 10 units and this price, we'll call it five bucks. And what's important to take away from this is that this triangle right here will be the consumer surplus. These out of these 10 units, consumers lying on the demand curve right here along these points above this equilibrium price are achieving surplus. They're getting a good deal because they value the good more than five bucks. So they're gonna generate that entire triangle of consumer surplus. And then this red triangle right here will be the producer surplus. Out of these 10 units sold, these producers that lie along the supply curve are willing to sell the good for less than five bucks. So they're getting a deal and making money by selling, equating to this triangle of producer surplus. Now remember this image here, so I'm gonna erase it and then we're gonna apply, we'll start with a price floor here. I left the 10 units here because it is critical in understanding deadweight loss. So let's say the government comes in and establishes a floor at, we'll say, eight bucks. The market now cannot sell this good below eight bucks. So this old equilibrium price at five bucks is invalid. So what's gonna happen now is that consumers are going to demand, we'll say five units, but producers are gonna wanna sell, we'll say 15 units. The 15 doesn't really matter here for deadweight loss because what matters is understanding that now no more units than five are gonna get sold. Because at eight bucks, consumers are not willing to buy more than five units. So now the consumer surplus triangle only looks like this. It's much smaller now because there's less units being sold. And the producer surplus trapezoid looks like this. Yes, these few producers are benefiting from the new higher price, but we're losing out on this market activity due to the floor. No units are getting sold between these points. And it's because of that that this triangle right here is dead weight loss. This used to be consumer and producer surplus, but as a result of the floor and the adjustment to the equilibrium quantity and resulting decrease in economic activity, this surplus evaporated. It no longer exists. It's dead weight loss as a result of the government intervention. This will look very similar for a ceiling, so let's do that one next. 